Hey my loves, it's your girl, Miss Medi XX here. So I was thinking, I said to myself, I see a lot of hate and homophobia and transphobia and black trans women dying and this year has seen an increase from last year. And where's all this hate stuff coming from? And we have to understand that the hate has all, always been there. Um, but I think it's been amplified. And why it's been amplified, I'll say this, it's because of these reasons. I came up with two, there could be more I come up with later, but these are two that would just cross my mind. Number one. If you look back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, um, there was always homophobia, there was always transphobia, but there was no social media. So, you know, gay and trans and bisexual and all these people didn't have that many platforms. Occasionally you see them in a movie or a TV show, very occasionally sporadically, but most of the time you did. So when social media came, social media provided platforms for gay, bisexual, transgender, non-combinary, um, and it provided a platform for um, them to be able to get out there. If you look at it like this, it was the 90s before we saw somebody openly um, gay on the real world. The 90s. It was like the, the what, the two, mid 2000, 2005, somewhere around there, when we first saw Norris, a, a, a black sitcom about black gays. And then look at it, even two years, two, three years ago, we just got polls which actually showed the life of transgender. Um, um, women in houses and borrowers that scene. Um, social media has given a platform that LGBTQ plus people didn't have back in the day. And I think what has happened is, it's making a lot of um, cisgender people mad or unhappy because of the fact back in the day they could just push in the corner and say, well, we don't want to see that and you know, the networks wouldn't show it. But with social media, they don't have that power to hold LGBTQ people down. They don't have that power to, um, you know, put their foot on the neck and depress the voice. You know, LGBTQ people are less oppressed. They're able to get their message out even more now because of social media. So that's one positive thing in social media. And that's what a lot of cisgender people um, don't like. Now, understand this. I don't know if I said this at the beginning, but I'm not talking about cisgender people who support the LGBT plus community. Those y'all who support us, I love you. Y'all can have a drink. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking about the ones who don't, who have a problem with it. And the second scenario I came up with is this. Is this. Um, a lot of cisgender people get mad because trans, bisexual, they hold, the whole entire LGBT plus community is, is tired of being in the background. They're tired of not being seen. They're tired of, of, of people talking about them. They're saying, hey, I'm here. This is my voice. I'm going to be on this platform. I'm going to be in this arena. I'm going to be in this room. And ain't nothing you're going to do about it because it's almost 2021 and it's time out for time out. Okay? Everybody deserves to be seen. I don't care what your pre religious preference is. I don't care what your religious belief is, but your religious belief and your religious preference don't have nothing to do with me or my community. And my community is saying, it's time out for it. We are tired. We are going to be seen. We are going to be heard. And if you don't like it, well, guess what? Like Beyonce said back in the door, to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left, you can go, okay? It is time out for all this hate and negativity. Let people be them. Let people live their lives. Let them do what they're going to do, okay? All right? Love you, my loves. Just a couple ideas I had, okay? Bye.